Hello everyone, this is Adam for realhomerecording.com. If you are an audio engineer, at some point in your career, you will come across a musician who wants to record a song with a tempo change. In Kakos Reaper, that is relatively easy to do. First of all, you need to make sure that your grid is enabled, along with snapping, and then you want to go up to the insert menu and add a click source. All right, now your next step is to go to the view menu and go in the middle where it says tempo envelope. You could also hit the alt and T keys at the same time to do this. So now you have basically, if you've ever done automation in Reaper, it's the same darn thing. All right, now what you wanna do is, with the help of your musician, find the part in the song where the tempo change occurs. So I'm just gonna find a random spot that makes sense. Now, there's one of two ways to do this that I'm aware of. You can either go up here and hold shift and click, and that will add a envelope point, and then we're gonna find out where we need to change the tempo to at our next spot. So, you know, you do that about a half measure, maybe a full measure, the tempo change. So we'll do it at the next measure. So I shift clicked again. And then what I'm gonna do is drag this point up and watch my beats per minute, my tempo number. Okay, so I made it 120. Now if I need to make it any more precise, I can always click over here and drag to make this bigger. And then I can click and drag this again. And if I need to get it even more precise, I can actually right click the envelope point and choose set value. And I'll stick this at, uh, let's say 90. And we have these other options that allow us to have a more organic sounding tempo shift. And we can also change the time signature. Okay. Now, if you looked earlier, when I right clicked that envelope point, there were other options that I could choose. You can set the point shape, and there is a host of other options that you will need to go through yourself because this video is not directed at those specific options. I don't have the information in front of me. I never really use these options that much anyway, but they're there if you need them. Anyway, guys, that's the basics of how to do it. I don't really do this very often. I've never done it for a project outside of one time I was making music for a video game and I had to set these markers like this and it was very tedious, but it was necessary um, to get the dead on tempo. But anyway, that's how you do it. And I think the best way, the most precise way is to do it this way with the envelope points, but that's just me. And I mean, I, I like to be able to see what's actually going on with the tempo change and seeing these lines is great visual feedback. I think you guys would agree and that would be the way I would recommend the tempo shifts. This has been Adam for realhomerecording.com. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button. And please subscribe.